What's up, one good is welcome back to your girl channel. If you are new here, welcome, welcome, welcome. Today, I'm going to make some Jamaican authentic. Oh my god, let's see what I go on already. I'm going to make some saltfish and butter bean with dumplings. Yes, so if you want to see how I pull off the saltfish and butter bean with dumpling recipe then stick around remember to like the video share the video and subscribe to the channel if you have not done so as yet so goodies as you can see i have some salt fish here may already wash off the salt off of it so i'm gonna boil it out um just one time you can boil it like two depends if how salt you want it um i'm using two cans of grace um butter bean you can use any butter bean of your choice and these are like pre-cooked butter beans. So I'm going to be frying this up nicely with my dumplings and stuff. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put my, my saltfish in some water. So over here, I have the water. So I'm going to boil it out. So I'm just gonna leave it until it starts to boil for about 10 minutes and then I'm going to wash it in some vinegar so good is here i have four cups of flour and i'm just going to add a little bit of salt don't add too much we don't want to use too much salt and we're just going to mix up the salt in the flour and i have some water to knead my flour so we're just going to add the water gradually until everything come together So I use my wooden spoon to combine it goodies and then I'm just going to finish off with my hands. So when I have it like this, then I'm going to need to knead it out properly. Okay? Okay goodies, so after I knead up the flour, I'm going to just cover it down with some napkin. And then I'm going to leave it for like 10 to 15 minutes and then I'm going to come back and I'm going to knead it again. Give it a nice perfect dumpling. Trust me, do it this way. Okay, goodies. So here I have some vegetables that I cut up. So I have some um, green onion, some bell peppers. I have an onion, a piece of thyme. And I have some tomatoes. I'm going to add half of a, um, or maybe a little bit of piece of scotch bonnet pepper depends on if you want pepper and here i have the sawfish i already wash it and um just break it up a little bit try to take out as much as the bone as possible over here i have some oil in my pot so i'm just going to add the sawfish first yes Okay, goodies, so they're nice, see, that's how I want them. So I added the, the thyme and the piece of pepper. Now I'm going to add the remaining seasoning. So I added the remaining seasoning. So what I'm going to do now, I'm just going to add the butter beans. A lot of people normally throw off the water off of the, 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 the butter bean, but I don't. I'm using the the water as well. So I'm adding the two cans. See it's looking beautiful. Just wait on that to cook up now for about five more minutes. I'm going to add um, some black pepper. I have this on low, that's why it's not bubbling up as yet. So I'm just gonna toss this up, toss in the black pepper. There it is. And you see the reason why I didn't throw off the water? Because I want the gravy to eat my dumplings and I don't like too much oil, so I didn't add a lot of oil. I'd rather use the water. So just gonna allow this to fry up. And then over here, I have my pot with the water boiling up now. So I'm going to add my dumplings. Okay, so you see how the flour look nice now? Yeah, man. So I'm going to make them now and put them in my water. Okay, goodies. So, selfish and butter being finished fry up. This is it. 
beautiful nice lovely so what i'm going to do now i'm just going to wait on my dumplings to finish see still have a lot of gravy and i need gravy that's why i do it like that you can always throw off the water if you want but i rather the gravy than the oil okay over here i have my dumplings them see them there yeah man wish me to have two banana but me not have none and my mother always say use what you have if you don't have any and you're hungry lay down on your belly that means don't beg nobody nothing so we'll just wait for the dumpling them now and then we're gonna plate up a nice dish okay okay good day so this is the final result isn't she looking beautiful look at that yes man oh 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 see i have a nice thick gravy not oily see what i'm talking about to eat your dumplings i did go ahead and i find a piece of cassava thank god added some vegetable that i had left over from yesterday and my meal is looking great if you love this recipe please remember to like the video leave a comment share the video look at that beautiful thank you all for watching until next time what good